Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. Hello, and welcome to Unity with Pam. This is our big Christmas show, and I'm telling you, we do this every year. I am so excited just to have all of you here, the residents of uh, Summer's Landing. It's now it's Oxton Place, but I always knew it as Summer's Landing, and I'm telling you, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's nice to be able to come back to a place time and time again and celebrate Christmas with not just your family and friends, with other people, family and friends. So let's give Oxton a round of applause. And let's shout out to them and let's say Merry Christmas to them. Merry Christmas. With that being said, we cannot start this TV program. We without prayer. That is so important. And we're going to have my good friend, Pastor Larry Biggers of Northside Worship Center, come and give us the prayer. Let's, let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Christ of Christmas. <clears throat> we thank you that we have a time to remember how you took on a robe of flesh and came to earth that we might be redeemed that we might be set forth and set free, Lord, from our past, and that you have given us a future. You came as a babe, but, Lord, you ruled as a king. We thank you, dear Lord, because you have filled our hearts with joy. Jesus, Lord, has touched us in such special ways. And, to Lord, this season we celebrate you and we glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for coming in humble settings to remind us that you're willing to come to the mess of our lives to bring your glory. We thank you, dear Lord, for the significance of the gifts that was brought on that special time of, of Christ's birth. We thank you, dear Lord, for the gold and the frankincense and the myrrh. The gold stands, Lord, for royalty. Lord, the, the, frankincense, the frankincense was was the uh, fragrance of those of nobility. And Lord, the myrrh is the one that shakes us to our bone to realize that Jesus came with a purpose. He came on a mission. And we celebrate his birth thanking God for the mission that he came on to redeem us. Lord, bless this time. Bless this time to celebrate you. Bless this, this party. Bless, Lord, this special program. We give you the praise and the glory and the honor. Amen. Amen. So let's have a musical selection. I'm telling you, wonderful woman, 15 years old, can play the keyboard backwards, forward, can sing in different languages. I mean, I'm telling you, get ready for her. She's special to me. I love her. I'm going to claim her my daughter from another mother, Miss Caitlin Hill. Team Caitlin. Oh. I got to introduce this person. That's why I'm going. Yes, I am. This is Bishop Felix Hill, which is her father. And I'm telling you, he's a lot like my dad, a man that brings structure and honor. And any time that I've needed you, you've always been there for me. And I love you. And that's why I said you can't take my mic till I say I love you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Listen, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Actually, it's really, really, really different. And uh, what I did was I told Caitlin I'd give her $20 if she'll play the song Hello, and she'll sing it in English and in Spanish and play it backwards. So if you have your cell phones, you might want to take it out because we're going to attempt this today for the first time. Solo llamaba para recordar, escuchar tu voz. Hablamos de ti y del esto. Desde qué tiempo la cura dura, pero mi me puedes oír. Hello, me puedes oír. Papá, señor, ando y soñando y de ese tiempo. 
los niños un mundo sin fin el disco en desfía que había con un robo a Catesti Sandar y Sansa entre tú y yo tantas mucha por cruzar hola de este más allá Escuchar maches de conga, solo quisiera perdiendo un perdón y antaña de importo. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. A new book by author Pam Willis Hovey is now available. This story of a young Joanna and her journey of love will have you excited with the turn of every page. Shoulda, woulda, coulda is available for purchase through Amazon and at unitywithpam.org. I'm a fan of this plateau. I'm a fan of things that go. I'm a fan of all things kitschy. I'm a fan of Lionel Richie. Hello. I'm a fan of DQ. I'm a fan of DQ Bakes. Bakes. DQ Bakes. I'm a fan of warm ciabatta. I'm a fan. Cold and hotter. Melty snacks on my snack break. I'm a fan of DQ Banks. New artisan style sandwiches, snack belts, and desserts. Hot out of the oven and only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. I'm a fan. When your child is sick, you take them to the doctor, right? Well, at Zoe Pediatrics, we don't just take care of sick kids. We want to keep the healthy ones healthy. At Zoe Pediatrics, we're in the business of prevention. We would love if when our children are 100 years old, they could say they were never sick a day in their life because of what they learned at Zoe Pediatrics. Don't wait for sickness. Children don't have to be sick to get better. Good doctors treat illness. Really great doctors prevent disease. Zoe Pediatrics, 10th Avenue at 17th Street. Come into Chester's Barbecue for our world-famous mouth-watering ribs. Smoked fresh on our grill daily. Or try one of our barbecue pork plates with fresh sides. Chester's has delicious sandwich combos to choose from that are sure to please. We also serve tempting home-cooked favorites. And don't forget to take home your own bottle of great sauce. Chester's Barbecue, serving the best food at the best price. With three locations to serve you. Uh, you do know the experts at Midas will tell you what needs fixing now and what can wait, right? Like, I don't know, brakes? <laughs> of course I do. Trust the Midas Touch for brakes, tires, oil, everything. Welcome to Unity with Pam with your host, Pam Willis Hovey. All right, to the woman of the hour who brought me here, Miss Hollywoods of Oxton Senior Living. Thank you for letting Unity with Pam grace your place. I'm not really sure I can follow that, because um, I sure can't sing. But um, welcome to Oxton Place of Green Island, formerly known as Summer's Landing. Um, Oxton Senior Living is out of Madison, Georgia. We have communities in Georgia and Alabama. And the one thing that sets us apart is we're all inclusive. So you just pay one rate. We don't charge for level of cares, medication management, and this is their home. So, you know, that, that is the most important thing. So we appreciate you all coming into their home and sharing your time with them and bringing this beautiful voice. It's just amazing. But from all of us, we appreciate it, and Merry Christmas. Um, I had two aunts here. I, have a mother, I had a mother here for, after a stroke for a year and a half. She passed away in May, and now I have my dad here. So we've had a whole family here at different times for the last couple of years. Um, we've looked at everyone in, this, in town to find the best place when it first started. Um, at that time, I think it was the veranda. Um, and it's changed names a couple of times. But the people are still here that we started with, most of them. Um, so that's always a plus. You have the same people that you can go to. Um, it's under new management now that we're pretty excited about as far as family members because it's getting upgraded. Um, they really seem to care a lot. So we're pretty happy and excited. Glad to have y'all here. And like I said, my dad loves it here, and we love him being here. The staff has been here for years, and we love them. And, of course, it doesn't hurt that my daughter <laughs> my daughter works here. But um, 
you know, if anybody does have any family members, this is the place to be. Now we will have a greeting from Mayor Teresa Tomlinson by Judy Tucker. Good morning, everyone. I am Judy Tucker, the mayor's executive assistant, Mayor Teresa Tomlinson. And on behalf of the mayor, the city council, other citizens of Columbus, we greet you and wish you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, we uh, just want this to be a safe and prosperous New Year. So we wish you Merry Christmas. We wish you Happy Hanukkah, all the other seasonal holidays, so that you have a great, great Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for having me here today, and thank you for being here. Bless you. This time of the year, you know, if you're losing a loved one and you're going through different things, you always need somebody to talk to and can help you cope. This lady's been a great rock to me. I love her. She is Rhonda Miller. She has priority counseling. Please come forward. Good morning. Thank you, Pam, for inviting me. And thank you to this wonderful place for allowing this program to go on. And to the young lady, you have a beautiful, beautiful voice and talent. That's a, that's a blessing. Like Pam said, I'm Rhonda Miller, and um, I'm a counselor in private practice. My practice is Priority Counseling Services. The name of the counseling business is Priority Counseling Services because God is my priority. That's where the name comes from. I want to talk to you, like Pam said, about the um, importance, the benefits of counseling. Um, she mentioned about uh, the holiday time. A lot of times, holiday times like Christmas and Thanksgiving and birthdays can be very sad for some people because they may have lost a loved one during that time. There's a change in life. For example, uh, moving out of the home, moving into an assistant living program or having to move in with family members and people remember how it used to be before, uh, before the loved one passed away or before they had a change in life. So um, counseling, that is one of the areas that counseling can help a person to cope through and uh, manage and resolve all those issues that, are, that go around uh, changing, um, changing life, the change of life. Counseling um, basically is to help people adjust to and resolve the issues of life. And there are many issues of life, like we just talked about. Uh, most of the women that are on my caseload have been sexually abused. They have trauma. I have some vets as well. And so that's another area that sometimes people need help with coping and resolving and, and getting an understanding of what's going on with them. I have people that um, are in recovery from drug addiction, and they are dealing with and coping with how they got into that and how they can get out and stay out. So uh, the issues of life cover so many areas, so many areas. So uh, I encourage you to um, be courageous enough and bold enough if you need help in dealing with any issue of life, then uh, you can contact me. Or there are many, many counselors in Columbus. I'm one of the, one of the good ones. <laughs> there are many good counselors in Columbus, and I'm one of the good ones. So if you um, need assistance with that, please give me a call. I'm Rhonda Miller with Priority Counseling Services. Thank you, Pam. All right, I got another friend. He does great music. I've been hearing him for many, many years. Mr. Denny Grimes. Thank you, Miss Pam. My name is Denny Grimes. That's Denny Grimes, born again Christian, true believer of Jesus Christ, who became my personal Lord and Savior on June the 4th in the year 2000. Delivered me from a life of drugs and alcohol and some stuff I'm just too ashamed to tell you about. But I have been forgiven. I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Going to do you a Christmas song this morning. Yeah, I'm a gospel singer, but I, I like to sing a little Christmas every now and then. So it's my honor to be here today. Thank you. Here we go. Holly's in the window, home is where the wind blows. I can't walk for running, cause Christmas times are coming. Can you hear them bells ringing, ringing, joy, joy, and hear them singing when it's snowing, I'll be going back to my country home. Y'all help me. 
Cause Christmas time's a coming. Oh, Christmas time's a coming. Yeah, Christmas time's a coming. And I know I'm going home. Amen. Whoa. Phoenix City, Alabama, that is, by the way of Op, Alabama. Good to be in Columbus, Georgia, though. White candles burning, my old heart is yearning for the folks at home, cause Christmas times are coming. Can you hear them bells ringing, ringing, joy, joy, hear them singing, when it's snowing, I'll be going back to my country home. Cause Christmas times are coming, whoa, oh, Christmas times are coming. Christmas times are coming, and I know I'm going home. Amen. Oh, Santa Claus gonna be there waiting on me. I can tell you that. Whoa. Snowflakes are falling, my lonely hearts are calling, the pine trees are humming, cause Christmas times are coming. Can you hear them bells ringing, ringing, joy, joy, hear them singing, when it's snowing I'll be going back to my country home. Y'all help me. Cause Christmas times are coming, oh Christmas times are coming. Christmas times are coming and I know I'm going home. Yeah. Yeah, Christmas times are coming. Oh, Christmas times are coming. Yeah, Christmas times are coming and I know I'm going home. Amen. We know this is the season and we know the reason. The birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and I love Him dearly with my heart. And I hope you can say that today, too. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Unity with Pam is being brought to you by these great sponsors. Come on in to Sugars for a sweet taste of Southern cooking. You will be taken back to Sunday dinner at Grandma's house with everybody. Daily special serving fried chicken, collards, black-eyed peas, also melt-in-your-mouth cornbread. You will want to ask for seconds. Also try one of our homemade desserts. You will be in sweet, sweet heaven. Sugars offers catering for all your corporate, church, and family gatherings. They will do all the work and save you all the trouble. Sugars, a taste of Southern cooking. Hello, I'm Pastor Willis. And I'm co-pastor Emma Willis. And we welcome you to be a part of our ministry. We have a wonderful illustrated teaching and preaching we want to share with you. And, and also we share with you our dance ministry and also our choir and our outreach ministry. And we have a wonderful Sunday school. And we welcome you to come and be a part of this ministry. God bless you. For over 25 years, the Bug Patrol at All-Star Pest Control has protected thousands of families' homes from pests and rodents. Although most treatments have no odor and are environmentally friendly, our high-technology products and methods get absolute results. And we guarantee it! All-Star Pest Control, over 25 years of guaranteed protection. The average home has more than five devices connected to the internet. Is your internet strong enough to keep up? At WOW, we can boost your internet with speeds up to 110 megabits per second. So you can handle it all and then some. That's WOW, not what you'd expect from a cable company. Find your perfect speed at WOWWay.com. Welcome to Unity with Pam, with your host, Pam willis Hovey. All right, now, uh, y'all saw a lot of people leaving. We do this every year. My good friend from Chick-fil-A, Haley Henderson, and she has her wonderful cow. And I, 
they're coming forward. We got a big surprise. How's everyone doing? Awesome. We're so happy to be here. It's just a joy that every year we can come and celebrate Christmas, but also the true meaning of Christmas. And at Chick-fil-A, we're from Chick-fil-A Macon Road. We just want you to know that in our community, we care about you and we care about Christmas and knowing that this is a great time of the year, but also to remember the true meaning of it. And that's for us to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and all the great things that he does for us, not just on December 25th, but on every single day. So, you know, Haley and I do this every year and we're going to go ahead and turn it. Naomi's house has been coming with me for so long, new birth. I thank Pastor Arnita and Pastor Wayman Johnson, all the way from Valley. I know you bring those people every month. So just everything that's over there in that corner belongs to you guys. All, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. But we just didn't stop there. Um, let me see. Amanda Pritchard was in a, a bad car accident, and my heart is heavy because she's with me all the time. So my baby missing on me. But since I miss my baby so much, I got a group picture. <laughs> I miss my baby. Yeah, my baby ain't with me today, but um, she's in, I'm not sure she's still in ICU. She's out of ICU. She's in a room. Praise God. Praise God. It's not your nice Santa Claus is coming to town. Woo! 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 Hi. Woo. Merry Christmas. Who wants to hear the story the night before Christmas? Me! Was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were all nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down to a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew in a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what do my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles the course they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Can anybody tell me the name of the reindeer? That's what I thought. Okay. Let me see if I can refresh your memories. There was Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donard and Blitzen and Rudolph on bad weather days. <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an object, they mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the course they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle, I heard on the roof the pawing and prancing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, some airy. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drawn little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. A stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, <coughs> and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. You guys don't smoke, do you? No. 
neither does Santa Claus. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed. <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. He was a chubby and plump and bright and jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of the eye and a twist of the head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And lying a finger upside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to a sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. And I heard him explain as he rolled out of sight, he said, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. All right. Woo! Yay! All right. Your, your hand getting tired? You're all right. Okay. I got my beeper on too. Okay, now, now here's the time where we put into perspective what this season is all about. All about. Okay, and this is Santa's prayer. And uh, I, I have read this I don't know how many zillions of times, and I still have to swallow once or twice. My dear precious Jesus, I did not mean to take your place. I bring toys and things, and you bring love and grace. People give me lists of wishes and hope that they come true. But you hear prayers of the heart and promises your will to do. Children try to be good and not to cry when I'm coming to town. But you love them unconditionally. That love will abound. I leave only a bag of toys and a temporary joy for the season. But you leave a heart of love full of purpose and reason. I have a lot of believers in what one might call fame. But I never healed the blind or tried to help the lame. I have rosy cheeks and a voice full of laughter. But no nail-scarred hands or the promise of the hereafter. You may find several of my friends in towns or at the mall, but there is only one omnipotent you to answer this sinner's call. And so, my dear precious Jesus, I stand here to pray, to worship, and adore you on your holy word. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.